All right, I just want to make a, a nice little introductory video so how to combine complex numbers. So let's say we have a complex number. We know complex numbers come in the form of a plus bi. And let's make another complex number with, let's call this c plus di. OK? So we have two complex numbers, one a plus bi and the other c plus di. Now, if we're going to combine them, that means I'm either going to add these complex numbers, or I'm going to subtract the complex numbers. It doesn't really matter which one we want to, uh, what we're going to do. We're going to apply a lot of the same methods to each one of these. Now, you might say, well, I know a plus bi is a complex number, but how do I know that c plus di is going to be a complex number? Well, remember, when we have our complex numbers, we have anything that's multiplied by i is going to be our imaginary component, and then adding to it is going to be our uh, real component, real number component. So a lot of times, you know, when we're doing these problems, we're going to have parentheses written around them. And that's perfectly, and that's fine. But that's really, really important, especially when we're doing subtraction. Because we're not just subtracting the c, we're subtracting the whole complex number. All right, so that's going to be a very important component of that. Now, there's a couple different ways we can do this. And, and rather than adding or subtracting, I'm just going to apply kind of a, I'm going to use both of them. So one thing I like to use is what we call the vertical method. All right, and the vertical method just states that if I have a plus bi, it doesn't matter if I'm going to add or subtract. I'm just going to take the other term and just put it right below, c plus di. And then you add or subtract vertically with the real with the real and the imaginary with the imaginary and just go down vertically. So you're either going to add or subtract depending on what your problem is asking. The other thing that you can always do is apply your um, or distribute your just subtraction sign by competing. When you're combining adding or subtracting these, what you can do is just make sure that you combine what these terms are. So you make sure that if it's up here, you could either do a plus c and then plus bi plus di. Or if you're going to go to here, then we just make sure we combine a minus c plus bi minus di. All right. So one thing you can do, the main important thing I want you to show is you can also rearrange, rearrange them horizontally by just make sure you're combining by either adding or subtracting or distributing the negative sign your reals and your imaginary. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's just a quick little overview on how to combine complex numbers. Thanks.